for a few days my spirit has been boiling and um, I had no opportunity to be able to address issues but leaders in the north have sent me different messages and um, I want to say some things because this not does not belong to a particular group of people the not belongs to everybody and the church of Jesus Christ cannot be intimidated there has not been apart from the report of the video that was taken major address on this matter so I'm going to speak to the Muslim Ummah and I want to speak from the depths of my spirit I am a child of God the son of Jesus Christ and I am from northern Nigeria Specifically, I am from Borno State, my degree. I want to commiserate with the family whose son was killed on the attack that took place in EYM Church, Modugunari. And I want to say this that Governor Zulum we had celebrated you in terms of what you were doing and you were celebrated across the country you were almost standing out among governors in northern nigeria and suddenly there is a change of events under your leadership now where the church churches in borno are under intensive persecution and as brethren i want to talk to you I overheard you addressing the Khan in your office that you have instructed for an investigation to be carried out. I want to say to you, Professor Zulum, we cannot continue to be dealing with issues as if we're dealing with people that have no understanding. The matter that we're dealing with is not a matter that requires an investigation you are, you investigate a matter that you don't know the roots of it but this matter we know the root of it whether it is the gm i don't know whatever title the person holds of the buggist who led the group of people together with the civilian jtf to eyn modugunari to go and demolish that church number one that person is to be dismissed from work number two punished for that act number three you must apologize to the christians in borno state this is not the first church now it's becoming the fifth church and that cannot continue 99% of the members of EYN are not coming from Ogun State. They are not coming from Enugu State. They are all indigenous of Borno State. They have the right to worship their God. They have the right to locate where they want to worship. Because they are indigenous of the land the land also belongs to them let me read this to every Muslim ummah. you are my brethren and let's talk as brethren I want to read out to you from the hadiths and from the Quran it, the position of what others have done with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful, Islam 
guarantees the protection of Jews and Christians and other non-Muslims who reside in Muslim lands. The houses of worship should be defended from attack and their right to worship according to their choice respected. The right to self-defense was granted in Islam in order to protect freedom of religion. This is what Allah said in Surah Al-Ajjah chapter 22 verse 40. We are Allah. We are Allah not to check people by means of others. They would have been demolished the monasteries, the churches, the synagogues, and the mosques in which the name of Allah is often mentioned. Al Al Basiri made a comment on this verse. You know Al Basiri, an authority in Islamic rights. The houses of worship for non Muslims, citizens, are defended by the believers. In Al Jasa, chapter 5, verse 83, Quran Al Jasa, Al -Jasa chapter 5, verse 83. This is what the Quran said the houses of worship for non Muslims. The houses of worship for non Muslims. Citizens are to be defended by the Muslims, which is the believers from here in Al Jazas chapter 5, verse 83. Ibn Kawad said in his interpretation and commentary, he said, included in this verse is the prohibition of demolishing the churches of non-Muslim citizens their temples and their houses of worship the tafsir by al Qutubi, chapter 22 verse 40 the tafsir by al Qutubi. Chapter 22, verse 40. That means the legal requirement is part of the tolerance, the compassion, and the goodwill that Islam teaches concerning other religious groups. The Prophet defined Islam as safety and security for people in general. Abdullah ibn Arm reported this and this is what he said you go to your hadith and find it. a man asks the prophet Muhammad O oh messenger of Allah whose Islam is the best and the messenger of Allah peace and blessing be upon him said this is what he said those from whose tongue and hand people are safe those from whose tongue and hand people are safe if we are to go by the statement of prophet Muhammad are you practicing Islam or you are practicing devil When he asks the prophet, who is the one that is practicing the best Islam? And he said, the one whose tongue and whose hands people are safe. The killing of that young man, was it Islam? Even if you should take knife to attack everybody and say you must become Muslim, I will guarantee you people will still not become Muslims. Because religion is a matter of choice. If I should take knife and bombs 
and demand that everybody in Nigeria must become a Christian, I can tell you, not everybody will become a Christian. We cannot be more than Allah, God. God allowed the Jew. He allowed the Christian. He allowed the Muslim. He allowed the Hindu. He allowed the Buddhist. You choose what you want to choose. At the day of judgment, God will decide. You are not the one to decide. I want to talk to you, my modern Muslim brothers, and especially imams and malams and sheikh. It is time we begin to look at the Quran very well and help northern Nigeria. We cannot continue to be doing this nonsense. When a shake engine and Taisa. But I am a lap yaba. Women in it. Talauchi Arewa. Shake Yenchi Arewa. Poverty Arewa. Commit crime, Arewa. Don't you see that something is wrong? I want to say the blood of an innocent person does not go in vain. Let me quote a verse because of time. You go to the palace, go to the Jewish community that lives with the Arabs. Or oh, all of us that are here at Northern and Allah. Allah, Allah. Kuma and Nabi Muhammad Meche in the Akikiran Sunan Allah Karata Bamuskida Jinsu. Boko Karan Tabani Atkin Kuran, Ko Atkin Tabsil. Chewa and Su Christo Chisunzosuna Nemo Wurin Adwa. And Nebi Abbas Wurisu Yada. Yah, Awaegari Chewa. Ko in Angina Church, Tazama Thread. I wait church, but that's how my number. And you insist that you will not give church license. I tell you the truth. There are more than 2 million Christians in Borno. And let me tell you, if you don't get things right, righteousness will prevail over if. Tafsir Al-Tabari 22 verse 40 I take you to this. Ibn al kaim writes this. Allah the exalted defend their houses of worship that have been sanctioned by law and decree. Thus, he loves to defend them even if he might detest something therein. Just as he loves to defend their owners even if he might detest something about them. This is the preferred view if Allah wills and it is the way of Allah said Ibn Abbas regarding this verse hence this is the truth now hence the truth or the falsehood of the worship performed therein is irrelevant Allah loves for their worship to be protected in any case, whether you say Kahirene, whatever you want to call them, the general rule in Islam is that any peaceful, law abiding non Muslim enjoys the same basic human rights as Muslims. In fact, if any non Muslim is oppressed 
by a Muslim the prophet according to the Quran will plead on behalf of the non-Muslim against the unjust Muslim on the day of judgment Safwan Safwan Ibn Salim reported this the messenger of Allah peace and blessing be upon him said if anyone wrongs a person protected by a covenant violates his right burdens him with more work than he is able to do or takes something from him without his consent then I will be his advocate on the day of resurrection this is a statement of prophet Muhammad So I want to say that so much that I have to say to all my Muslim brothers. Number one, I demand as the leader in this country, Nigeria, I demand, number one, all the churches that have been destroyed in Borno, Governor Zulum, you must build them. Number two, the northern leaders must protect our coexistence. We are one people. We may differ in tongues, but we all are created by the sovereign God. We are all the children of Ibrahim. I may be an Isaac, you may be an Ishmael, but we are coming from one father. We must understand that we must coexist and leave the judgment of faith to God. No man has the power to judge any man of his faith. Judgment belongs to God. So I say this to the Christians. Don't be disheartened. Don't be discouraged. The best is yet to come. As we have always been eating together, dining together with our Muslim brothers, I want to encourage you wherever you need to cite your church to worship God, cite your church and worship God. You are not an infidel. You believe in the sovereign God. The law and the covenant of the constitution of Nigeria gives you the defense even from the citing of the Quranic verses I just gave to us. Nigerians, we are coming to the point when God will settle us in this nation. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. The testing of our faith is not the destruction of our faith. This faith will work more stronger in the midst of adversity. God bless all of you. God bless Nigerians. God bless all of you believers that gathered out together to worship God in the midst of the persecution. Shalom. Salamu alaikum.